Recall the last time you said to yourself, that's wrong. What was it you felt wrong? Might it have been a statement someone said, or you heard, a thing you witnessed, read, or wrote? Perhaps you considered a behavior by you or someone else wrong. Might it have been something else you deemed incorrect? What made that thing wrong? Was it immediate or contemplated? How did you decide? Was it broken rules, hurt feelings, a practice or action judged unacceptable? Perhaps an incorrect or misused fact occurred. Was the thing wrong for another reason? Did you know the right answer, action, or response? Are all things right or wrong? Is maybe or might be acceptable? Is there a right or wrong way? And if rights and wrongs exist, how did we come to form them? Why does it often appear rights and wrongs vary depending on the organization, circumstances, social issues, or persons involved? Those are several questions to consider. How many of those questions do we even stop and ask ourselves when things occur? Perhaps those decisions we make and actions we take are automatic and emerge with little thought. We realize actions to be right or wrong after reflection. Hindsight is twenty-twenty, as they say. At the base of these rights and wrongs are values we learn or form with experience. How did we gain our values? Our upbringing may have provided certain values. Our parents, teachers, friends, role models, and others instilled values in us. We've likely formed other values because of our life experiences. Our formal education presented us with values. Groups and organizations we've taken part in added others. Considering how unique we are and how our life experiences and paths are so different, it's no surprise we possess disparate values and value systems. In fact, it's somewhat surprising we even agree to anything because of the diversity of our values and experiences. But we come to agreements and understandings about values for various reasons. Other values form from the law. Some germinate from a need to agree to certain practices. People intermix the words morals and ethics to describe the values we hold. I suggest morals and ethics are not the same thing. While there are varying opinions on the subject, I'd like to use these two thoughts as we venture into this course. Consider morals as practices of a society and ethics as what ought to be. Technology and media change at light speed. It can be a challenge to keep up with the rate of change in the dizzying number of ways people use technology and media. What will the effects and impact of technological change be? How do we use our values, morals, and ethics to make excellent decisions and take right actions?